Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts once again in the house. We doing something different today. This is going to be something that I'm implemented into the channel. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be releasing movies that I've watched and recorded every week. So we're going to do one movie every week. I'm going to go, I'm going to make it a Friday night thing. Okay. A Friday night thing. So, um, you know, it's one movie. It's not like I'm going to be binging movies. You know what I'm saying? Throughout. And then I'm going to release them at a time. Okay. So on the Patreon, there will be a timed version of the movie where you can sync up your own copy of the movie with what I'm watching. Okay. You can sync up yours with mine and you can watch it with me. There will be for that version the 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 um the movie is not going to be in the picture at all so you can sync up your version with mine okay so that's how i'm planning to do it so remember friday nights is movie night if you want to get in your suggestions for movies just put them in the comment section i usually write them down anyhow i have a bunch of movies that you guys have suggested were suggested last year including anime movies as well so we're gonna get through them as much as possible i've just decided that i'm gonna start doing these movies because they're beginning to pile up and um the shows are for, for me to react to on this channel is already um piled up so if you've already suggested a movie and you don't know what the movie list is i'll put a picture up right here of what the movies that i have planned to watch and if it's not on the list the suggestion that you have you can always put it in the comment section okay but if it is on the list don't waste your time <laughs> don't waste your time you get the point right so the list will be right here i'm gonna make sure it's right there hopefully i remember to put it there um but anyways guys we're gonna jump into the departed departed is a movie i've never seen before i know that it's a star-studded movie of uh matt damon mark Wahlberg, leonardo Di Leon leonardo dicaprio we have jack nicholson we have it's a star-studded cast and i've never seen this movie and i don't understand how i've never seen this movie i i think i've seen all movies with i thought i saw all movies with with um with matt damon i really thought i've seen all these movies but apparently i have not um so the departed when it was suggested i thought it was something else but it ended up being some uh, a different movie uh um that i that i was thinking of i thought i had seen it already um because when i looked at the cast i was like uh i heard uh, this movie is also directed by martin scorsese which is another director that i think i've seen everything that he's done right brilliant dude brilliant director um love his work you know so the departed man we just gonna jump in so once i jump in the timer is going to start guys the timer is going to start so make sure that you're synced up and ready to go as soon as this cuts and goes to the next scene because that's how we're going to begin there's not going to be a delay okay so let's do it we're switching over hopefully you guys enjoy the movie as much as i'm going to enjoy the movie hopefully i enjoy the movie i mean with a cast like this there's no way this movie missed you know what i'm saying it has to be a good movie so i'm expecting the best because um all these actors i've seen them and stuff love them and stuff so let's do it and i will see you guys for a review afterwards okay so i'm not during these movie reactions i'm not going to be breaking to say stuff and, and stuff like that because i don't want to mess up the timer okay so if you hear me talking over certain things that is just what we're gonna we're gonna be doing as to provide some sort of commentary also for the youtube cup cut ups okay so let's do it let's go okay welcome back guys to the review of the departed i have to say it's been a while since i've watched a movie that kept me on edge so much 
it's been a, a really long time. Like I'm talking about the entire movie, I was on edge. I'm like, what is going to happen here? What's next? Who's gonna die? Who's gonna survive all of this? You know what I mean? Like it, it had you at the edge of your seat because you don't, you, you know, you, everything is revealed to you. There was a couple of things that were revealed at the end. There were a couple of things that were re revealed at the end, but you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it caught me off guard, but at the same time, it wasn't that much of a surprise. Like the other dude that was always hanging around, um, um, Kali or Colin, whatever, didn't really, that's, you know, I don't know. It was weird to see him kill Billy and then kill, you know, other dude. And then he was like, you think you were the only one that he had on the inside? Like, I don't know, something about that scene, like it was surprising, but it it didn't surprise me as much as, as much as, you know what I'm saying? Like him, him being in, in the force as a rat didn't surprise me that much that he had somebody else in there. It was a surprise that he came down the elevator, got popped. You know what I'm saying? Billy came down. I did not expect that at all. Bruh. This was crazy. Um, okay. I don't know how to say this. I really don't know how to say this about, about the ending. But I, we get to the ending at some point. We talk about the movie. The movie was through throughout from i'm gonna use the same things that i used to rate movies that i do my reviews for for um for tv series whatever right i'm gonna use the same thing here right same thing here um sound design videography cinematography right and rewatchability right and i'm going to be starting with rewatchability first because this is probably a movie I would probably not watch again. You get what I'm saying? I would probably watch somebody's reaction to it, but is it, is it a movie that I would recommend to my friends, to my families to watch? Yeah, I would say that. So the rewatchability is up there. In my opinion, I think that I would recommend it to other people to watch. I would recommend it to my family. But would I myself sit down and watch this movie again by myself? Probably not. You get what I'm saying? This was a, it felt like a one and done movie. You know what I'm saying? Like you watch it, you would recommend it to your friends. You would watch somebody react to this movie. But I don't think by myself, like, you know, I would pop this DVD in and watch this movie again. You know what I'm saying? Maybe with my kids, with my girl, but I wouldn't like by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like be like, oh, this movie was so good. I got to watch it again. And you have movies that are definitely like that. And that is just how I feel about the movie, because in some ways you've seen, I've seen a lot of movies that are, that is like this, that is structured very similar like this, but this is, it's very brilliant writing also as a screenplay. Um, but also at the same time, it, it, you know what I'm saying? As I said before, it's just for me and me on my lonesome, like me sitting down here recording this reaction. I wouldn't do this again. I wouldn't do it again. And that's just, I usually don't start with rewatchability. Now, cinematics, um, the setting, everything they use on site, you know what I'm saying? I think there was a couple of um, green screen moments that I that I noticed. Um, I won't say because it wasn't that noticeable to for me to drop the rating for my for the cinematography because it wasn't that noticeable. It's just that I have an eye for those things. Um, not everything in this movie was like shot on site, and when I say on site, I mean like they actually go to a location and actually shoot these scenes. Um, you know, there was a couple of scenes that were definitely um green screen if it's not then you can say i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i'm not a hundred percent sure 
but I'm pretty sure I'm like about 90% sure that a couple of scenes were done in front of a green screen. Um, but um, I'm not going to go there and be like, I'm not going to put pictures up on the screen. Maybe later on when I really get into movie reactions and stuff like that, I might start doing that. But for now, just take my word for it. If you didn't notice it, then good. It's not, it doesn't mean it's not a big deal. But the cinema, the cinematography overall was great. It was a 10 out of 10 for me. The bar scenes, the, 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 you know, the junkyard scene, even, you know, the, it, it seems like they had at like a, a, um, a wharf or something like that with all the containers and stuff like that. Those were all on site um, sh shots. You know what I'm saying? And they were done very well. I don't think there was anything in some of the moments where I felt like they could have done better. You get what I'm saying? Like everything was done very well. And that's a thing. That's a trait of Mark. Martin Scorsese is like, he is so good as a director. It's, it's just unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? He's just so good. I love his movies. Anything he touches is, is like gold. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he, he, he hits a hundred percent of his shots, but he damn sure is in the 90% of his shots. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely like, I love, 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 love the fact that they brought him on for this project with this star studded cast. You know what I'm saying? And everything was done very well. The blood splatter, everything. We're talking about all that stuff is included, special effects. All of that is included in cinematography. So sound design. The sound design was good in some places, but not so much in some places. And I leave it for last because this is where I'm going to get just a tad bit negative And this is what is going to make it lose. You get what I'm saying? Um, some points for me. I think the score for this movie was subpar. You know what I'm saying? There were some of the some of the songs that I was jamming out to and stuff like that. And those were good times. But as I said, when it comes on to, to sound design, when it comes on to score in a movie, Timing is extremely important. Stop, timing is extremely important. There were some times where the, the score in this movie would cut for some moments and there were brilliant cuts. It's like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I remember one scene, Frank was talking on the phone and he was like, get rid of the tail. And the, and the, and the, and the sound just cuts and then it come back in. They should not have done that. They should not have brought it back. The minute he said that, it was unnecessary for them to you get what i'm trying to say like it was unnecessary and guys this is something that i've done in the past so why i can tell you that it just didn't fit the music coming back in it just didn't fit it should have ended there and then you just cut to them to to where they're taking out the coke and everything out of the location that's what they should have did they should have just cut the music and maybe play something in the background when they get some ominous sound when they're taking out the the, the, the coke and stuff out of the, the the container right um they should not have brought the music back in like they cut it and then as soon as he finished saying they brought it back in like they, they should not have done that like i felt like they should have left that moment so we sit and marinate in that moment right there that's how i felt about it and that's why i said that there were times there's a couple more times that they did that and then they brought the music back again like it didn't happen just once so just in my experience and from what i experienced when it comes on to great score for movies or tv shows or anime series like for me a lot of times sound can be hit or miss you get what i'm saying it can be hit or miss or you just didn't get someone that can structure and edit the sound in such a way where it's like mm, that was needed right there and they hit it you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying they completely missed for the entire score but they were moments that deserve silence that they were playing music that just didn't fit the scene in this movie and as i said as i go along and i learn more about figuring out how to do movies on youtube and review movies on youtube then i will figure out and i'll bring back those scenes i also don't want to show certain things you know what i'm saying not even a picture or anything because i also want 
to keep my monetization going on the channel so i don't want to include stuff like that because even though they're probably going to claim this video anyways from the cut up version but i'm you know what i'm saying but if they claim it they claim it if they don't they don't that means i do a good job but overall i do want not to put too much footage on youtube for any for them to see right so so they have to claim my video so that's why i'm kind of pussyfooting around that if you want to call it that okay so when it comes on to the sound i'm not so hot on the sound so i'm gonna give the sound a seven out of ten for this movie definitely so i want to take a little bit of time and talk about the characters in this movie because i have to talk about the characters we have to talk about the actors right because these are like creme de la creme when you're talking about um top actors actors that you want to see in certain movies mark Wahlberg, not so much he didn't really he shine in this in the first half of this movie very much so i love the scenes with him he was just they just told him be an asshole he's extremely good at that in pretty much every part that he plays he's just an asshole he knows how to play an asshole even when he's a good guy so it's it, it fits his character very much so right so let's talk about the top notch the creme de la creme of acting right here leonardo dicaprio right you have jack nicholson you have um matt damon you got um who else who else was in this movie um i think i, I think his name is martin sheen if i'm not mistaken i know he's related to the sheens i think he's charlie sheen's dad i, I just I, I think his name is martin sheen um i know it's not you know sometimes i really do get them get him mixed up the guy that played you know the captain sometimes i really do get him mixed up with michael douglas a lot of times because they 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 look kind of similar in my I'm, i don't know maybe it's because they're both old i don't know so those were the, the guys that really shine in this we're not gonna talk we're not gonna talk about um what's his name man i can never remember his name um baldwin alec baldwin we're not gonna talk about him because he didn't really you know the scenes he had alec baldwin is he's a great actor he's just not in that upper echelon that i would think that he's like he's a he's a alien celebrity you get what i'm saying but he's not an A-list actor. You know what I'm saying? He's not your Denzel. He's not your Leonardo DiCaprio. He's not up there like that. Like he can act and trust me, he can act because I've seen him in some very good parts, but he's not up, up in that echelon. But let's talk about their role in the movie. Their role in the movie was very well done. Everybody played their part. I think for the most part, the one that stood out to me the best was Matt Damon matt damon killed this role boy he killed this role and i think he shined more than anybody else in this movie um leonardo very close second you know what i mean that scene you know what i'm saying i remember a scene specifically the scene the ending scene with matt and jack right with matt and jack at the end frank and colin was absolutely brilliantly shot and the con the conversation he was had having with himself while frank was trying to grasp breath and stuff like that like because he already got shot and then i thought he got another bullet off and, and that he could have killed him but then just just that moment alone to me solidify him in solidify him for me as the best actor or got that because of that moment in the show so in the movie right so leonardo is a close second he had some great moments in this movie especially the moments that he had with jack again conversations that they had when jack was trying to find out who the rat is the conversations that they had and you you can see him trembling you can see that he was worried if 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 um if frank was going to find out if he's a rat you know what i'm saying and yo this movie was awesome it was awesome it was an awesome screenplay um 
you know i don't want to harp too much because i don't want to sit here for 20 minutes reviewing the movie right um so for me overall i'm gonna give this movie a solid eight and a half out of ten it was brilliantly done it was brilliantly done it was solid eight and a half out of ten for me so yeah the departed is definitely is definitely not goaded on the channel but it's definitely up there a solid eight and a half i don't know if this movie got any awards it probably did because it was just that well done the acting was top notch um everybody complimented each other nobody seemed out of place except maybe anthony anderson like the little role he had he, he just felt out of place every time he was on screen i felt like he didn't need it to be there like they could have gotten somebody else to play his part um so for me he, he just didn't hit anything because i don't consider him to be a great actor because i mean he came up as a comedian and you know what i'm saying like he, he just wasn't hitting those points for me you know what i'm saying and that's as much as you can really expect from you know somebody who you know what i'm saying like you have seasoned people who came up as um you know comedians and stuff like that it become seasoned actors like you perfect example jamie fox great actor but I, I i guess he's like an exception to the rule i guess because I, I really can't find any more comedians that really got to that to got to to like to that status where they're considered for like you know golden globes and oscars like maybe maybe eddie murphy maybe and that's a big maybe you know what i'm saying um because I've seen Eddie in some serious roles. He just, he, he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Chris Tucker wasn't, was a comedian all the way. I mean, the only other person, I, I can't even, yeah. No, I can't think of anybody else. Chris Rock, maybe? Chris Rock. I would, yeah, I would put Chris Rock in that upper echelon of comedians that really got there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know Chris, Chris Rock can, he can act in a serious role. He, he can he can put it down, you know what I'm saying, um, not just a comedic role, he can do dramas, you know what I'm saying, he really surprised me in a couple movies that I've seen him in that were dramas, he really surprised me, so definitely, definitely, he's up there, um, in that conversation, for real, for real, so yeah, man, Departed was a very good movie, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. That is all I have to say. 8 out of 10. Solid, solid, solid movie. The Departed. Good movie. Anyways, guys, if you like my review, if you love my reaction, hit that like button. Don't forget to do that before you leave if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this movie. And of course, subscribe if you're new. There's more of this to come. Remember, I am going to be doing movies now every Friday. I'm going to try to watch a movie. If I miss a Friday, then I miss a Friday. But just look out for a movie to drop every Friday night from now on. I, I did not announce this on my channel. I just decided it. I wanted to watch a movie. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just do Friday nights as every week I put out a, a movie and try to have it on the channel as something that's constant also and put it on the schedule. Anyways. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.